football is going into a direction where a few have everything and the vast majority has nothing. Ladies and gents, this is the head of FIFA, Gianni Infantino. In Europe, there is no need for additional possibilities and events. But if we think about the rest of the world and also if we think about Europe, the vast majority of Europe who doesn't see the best players, who doesn't participate in the top competitions, then we have to think about what football brings, which goes beyond the sport. Because football is about what I was saying at the very beginning, about opportunities, about hope, about national teams, about the country, about the heart, about the joy, about the emotion. And we cannot say to the rest of the world, give us your money, if you have or happen to have a good player by coincidence, give us the player as well, but watch us on TV. We need to include them. Speaking to the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe's Future of Football initiative, Infantino spewed the following. We need to find ways to include the entire world, to give hope to Africans so that they don't need to cross the Mediterranean in, in order to find maybe a better life, but more probably death in the sea. We need to give opportunities and we need to give dignity. Let's go over why these comments are problematic. First things first, the Future of Football initiative is pushing to have the World Cup take place every two years instead of the standard four. Citing FIFA's comprehensive report, Sporting News printed the switch to every two years would add another $4.4 billion to the organization's revenue. Philip Lahm, one of the greatest German players of this generation, wrote in a piece for The Guardian, Shortening the World Cup cycle would give the impression that football is all about money and major sporting events need patience and time that is crucial for their sustainability. For the record, Philip Lahm does serve as tournament director for Euro 2024, but I do agree with him on some of this. The point of contention comes from Infantino himself, who when selling this idea of a biennial proposal, stated we need to find ways to include the entire world, to give hope to Africans so that they don't need to cross the Mediterranean to find maybe a better life but more probably dead in the sea. According to the United Nations, thousands of refugees and migrants in Eastern and Western Africa are dying while others face harrowing abuse in their attempts to reach the continent's Mediterranean coast in search of a better life. The joint UN Danish Refugee Council wrote in their report that the data suggests that a minimum of 1,750 people died on these journeys in 2018 and 2019 meaning roughly 72 deaths per month, making it one of the most deadly routes for refugees and migrants in the world. These deaths are in addition to the thousands who have died or gone missing in recent years, attempting desperate journeys across the Mediterranean Sea to Europe after reaching North African shores. This man's name is Tony Burnett. He took over as CEO in February of 2021 of Kick It Out. Per their website, Kick It Out is English football's equality and inclusion organization. Founded in 93 and established in 97, their goal is simple. Fight against discrimination for everyone who plays, watches, or works in football. FIFA is a multi-billion profit-making organization. They already have the funds to invest in creating an inspiring opportunity for disadvantaged people around the world. It is therefore completely unacceptable to suggest that a biennial World Cup predominantly set up to drive further profits for FIFA could be a solution for migrants who risk their lives, sometimes fleeing war-torn countries, to seek a better life. Ronan Nevain, executive director of Football Supporters Europe, was equally dismissive per Al Jazeera. How low can Infantino go? Instrumentalizing death in the Mediterranean to sell his megalomaniac plan is beyond words. While thousands of people have died attempting to cross the Mediterranean to reach Europe in recent years, with the Missing Migrants Project recording 23,383 missing migrants since 2014, that's as of January 2022, Andrew Strohline, the European Media Director for Human Rights Watch tweeted, My colleagues at Human Rights Watch interview refugees around the world pretty much every day. We write reports about the reasons, the abuses, the hardships that force them to leave their homes. They never mention the timing of the World Cup tournaments. Exactly. Infantino is not giving hope. 
by pushing a World Cup every two years. What he's doing is profiting off of this false and deeply unpopular notion that you are giving hope to those that are risking their lives to cross the Mediterranean for a better life. Oh wait, that's Gianni Infantino, where newspaper Blick reported he is living in the host country, praising and defending its atrocious human rights record and claiming the reporting is false. This is a greedy man who lives by one thing, profits. Burnett added, if FIFA has a genuine commitment to tackling inequality, they should be investing time and resource into charitable causes on the ground rather than disguising what appears to be a profit-making biennial World Cup as the answer to any existing problems.